As we know, American politics is dominated by two parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. But that wasn't always the case. When George Washington became president, there were no political parties, none. What you may not know is that George was actually anti-party. He hated the idea of parties so much that in his farewell address, he spoke against them saying, the common and continual mischiefs of the spirit of parties serves always to distract the public councils and enfeeble the public administration. Not having political parties was a good idea in theory. In reality, it didn't work. Washington's successors created America's first political parties. Other countries like England or France have multiple parties, but America has pretty much always had two major parties, currently the Democrats and the Republicans. But don't be deceived. There are actually dozens of third parties alive and well here in the United States, like the Libertarians, the Green Party, the Transhumanist Party, the United States Pirate Party, and even the American Shopping Party. While you may not have heard of them, a vote for them could have a huge impact. If a third party candidate can get just 5% of the vote, their party can be eligible for federal election funds and just maybe shake things up.